hey hey official daily tv here how are you and thank you so much for tuning in yes a brand new video on my youtube channel today guys you have to bear with me on this one i saw this a couple of days ago and it really sort of shocked me and hit me and i need to talk about it so before you run away before you get too confused give this video a massive thumbs up and if it's the first time you see my ugly mug on your screens smash a subscribe button because I'd love to have you on board. Right, I saw this video and it was headlined I'm selling my virginity to the highest bidder. Yes, I know that sounds confusing but bear with me. There was this Romanian girl, okay, she's 18 and she'll explain in a minute with the video but she wants to sell her virginity to the highest bidder. So this is a virgin, she hadn't had sex before and two, she thinks the highest bidder is going to bid a million pounds. You've got to wait in this video to what the highest bidder actually paid to take her virginity. So she hasn't had sex before and she's willing to have sex for the first time with a stranger for money. Let's watch the video and let's see one, why she's doing it because I think she's crazy and wrong and two, what kind of girl is she to actually do this? For me, and I will say it before we've even watched the video, you know, your virginity is something special, you share it with someone, and she's using it as this tool to make money. One, she's selling herself, and is that right? And two, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I see people sell a lot of things, you know, on eBay. They sell cars, they sell phones, they sell clothes. But to sell your virginity, this is the next level. Also, some cow size for, is she just cheap, is she disgusting, is she vile, is she doing the right thing, is she doing the wrong thing? The highest bidder is going to win her virginity. They reckon it's reported to be something in the one million area. One, is it about the money? Is she thinking, one million pounds, look what I can do with this. Or some cow size thought, is it the fantasy of a, a strange man coming into her life, um, sharing a bed, and giving her virginity to the strange, weird man that she doesn't know, that she's never met before. Is it a kind of a fantasy thing that she just got into her head and she thought, I'm going to do this. There's been many girls in the past that do this. I'm from a poor country. I need to do this. I want to do this. And no one's going to stop me. It is something to think about when you're watching this video. So what do we know about this girl? She's 18. She's from Romania. She hasn't had sex before and still a virgin. She wants to sell her virginity. This is what she looks like and she's going to sell her virginity. Also, I want you to leave your comments in the comment box below. What do you think about it? Do you agree with it? Do you disagree with it? I'd love to have a conversation about this because it really struck me and it has really sort of like made me go, wow. This video of her, she's on this morning with Philip and Holly. Let's see what she has to say and let's see why she's doing it. Right, headphones in, here she is on This Morning on ITV and remember stay tuned because I'm going to tell you how much the highest bidder actually paid and also where he come from. Let's do this. Here she is. When For this video so purposes we're going to call her the virgin well, girl. You can tell she's thing. foreign. And Let me just pause it there. Here. I don't want to sound racist, I don't want to sound harsh when I say this but I imagined it would be someone foreign straight away, someone from England. I don't think we would do this and I don't think we have the ambition to do this. So she's from Romania and as you heard, she had these thoughts when she was only 15. She was thinking about losing her virginity to some stranger at 15. Right, let's do this. The, uh, it was about a girl who sold herself for So someone million sold her virginity for herself. a million pounds yes, and she went... It. And oh, I, I can that, do this. Hmm, maybe I can do this too with my virginity. And I looked it up on the internet and I saw very, very many girls that sold wow. themselves for 3.5 million or more. But wh why would you want to do that? Good because question, also in the Holly. intro there, lots of people, um, virginity is something very special to them, something Definitely. that, as I said, was to be shared between somebody you trust and you, you love very much. Why would you want to sell something so precious? So let's stop there. So she actually agrees with Polly. She agrees that Virginia is something special and you shouldn't just give it away to anyone. But I think the way she's going about it and the way she's doing it, 
for being a role model as a girl and girls will watch this and yes girls have done it in the past in other countries to be honest I've never had someone in the UK do it it always are these foreign people and people who have got loads of money it's these foreign people that are paying for these girls yes she is pretty yes she looks good but I don't go I want to take her virginity I'll pay for it it's something special between a man and a woman right let's carry on you're right, but you know, many girls sold their virginity and after that, m maybe after many years, True. they break up with the guy, you know, and it's not worth it. So I have a really good cause. I need the money She's to got study brains. abroad because I want to go to the Oxford University to study marketing and business. Plus, well, I that's in a something that really, really struck me on this interview. So, so people are like, okay, you're going to sell it to the highest bidder. You're going to get all this money. They they are quoting about a million pounds, which is a hell of a lot, don't get me wrong. You can buy lots of stuff for that and do lots of things with it. But she mentions two things. One, she wants to go to Oxford and study. Congratulations, she's got brains. She isn't going to waste the money and she's going to do something to better her life. Two, she says she lives in a poor country, Romanian, and her parents are in financial difficulties. She didn't go to explain what or why or how, but she said she wants this money to get her parents out of uh, financial difficulties. Let's just think about that. Their parents are going to let their go. I don't know if they agree with it. I don't know if they don't. They never mention. But she's going to lose her virginity and then give her parents some money. Now, is that dirty money? Is that right money? Would you be happy if your daughter handed you all this money as you're a parent? I don't know. I don't know how the dad would feel, how the mum would feel. But when I heard that first time, I was like, really? I just, I don't know how to take it and I'm not sure. But, you know, that's me. I'd love to hear your comments on that one because I'm still like, oh, I'm not sure. Oh, you know, after that, after I graduate, I know I want to start my own business. What about health and There's Philip talking about the dad's so questions. Health and safety. Tested to make sure that you uh, are a, a yes, virgin. Yes, I were, uh, I was so tested she's been before. tested. Yeah. And Medically after, examined. Yes, and after the buyer wins the bidding, uh, I will go and test again in this, in his country. But what about him? A good question. Test him. Test him. Why? For health, safety. Oh, what if he I, has she hasn't thought about, about, about that. You have right, let's stop it there again. Point. I'm going to have to stop this a load of times because there's lots of stuff to think about. So Philip said, health and safety, have you tested yourself? Because it's very important when you're having sex and when you're doing a, a thing like this. Health and safety, are you clean, are you safe? She said yes, she's been tested before and she will be tested after the highest bidder has won her virginity. But then Philip said are you going to test him? And she was sort of like puzzled. We don't know what country he's going to be from, who he is, how old he is. Yes, he'll be over 18, I hope. But um, she doesn't see why she's got to test him. That was the first thing I would do. He'd have to be tested. He'd have to be, you know, everything checked on him. And she hasn't really thought about that. that be the first thing you'd think about is whether True, or not that girl yes, could have probably anything we will test him and probably have you just thought about this on the sofa now i didn't thought about it no because in I which don't case i've got to say to you how much are you thinking about this you're a virgin you're not very you're not sexually experienced you haven't even thought about the fact that the guy could oh, have an STD. Don't what know. are you doing you're having ideas sitting on the sofa oh what my god pregnant? That's a turn in the story for me, guys. The girl. <laughs> and your, your, your parents drop you off at the airport. This is crazy. Mm, to yes, come here? Yes. Yeah, they have. So her parents, if they found out, they would no. stop what her. Did you tell them? Congratulations, the parents. I told the them parents. that I'm going for a um, model catwalk. So, so they, they don't know they don't know the whole reason you're doing this. So why would you do yes, it? Why do you think about this doing for it? them, but they don't know. And if they knew yeah. what lengths you were going to to help them, <laughs> do you think they'd try and stop she you? Hopes. Yes, of course. What would they say? What would your father say? So they'll find out My and she thinks, Oh, I just get the money and they will shut them up. Men, and I think <laughs> that I don't think that'll be the case. Agreed.
I think you <laughs> But what if this what if this gets out? You're yes. appearing on national television. Or oh, is it? Go global. I know, but my parents never are not ever going gonna tell them. And if they will, at least I will give them what what they so need. So that is one thing. She doesn't do enough for so that. She's that doing it for agency. Say to your parents, Hopefully they'll be looking after her. I did this for you. Her. You're being evicted in February. This is very noble of you. And I um, the, the other important thing to flag up here is that, as you said, you are doing this through an agency and you are hoping to get a million euros. 20% of what the highest bidder How pays. How much of the agency taking of your money that you earn? Uh, we talked about it like a few months ago. I think the safety aspect is so we talked important about it again, in this story. And they will take only 20%. Because originally it was 50%. Yes. And oh what, my God. have you had any discussions with them about the God, safety aspects of what you're about to do? You, mm -hmm. you say you will go to any man who's prepared to she pay is. She has to be out of her mind. in Europe. Yes. Will you go on your own? Yes. I've got to say, I mean, I'm a father. I've got, I've got two girls who are not far off your age. I have to say to you now, I mean, I think the people Cuckoo saying this... Lander. At home. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? Right, let's leave it there. So she lives in a world that everything's okay. Like Holly said, she's young, she's beautiful, she's intelligent and attractive. Does she need to do this? Yes, I'll tell you how much the highest bidder paid and where he was from. It was a Hong Kong businessman and he paid two million pounds. Not one, but two million pounds. The highest bidder, Hong Kong businessman. God knows where they're going to do it, or how they're going to do it, or why. I don't get the story. When I first heard it, I thought, OMG, I need to talk about it. I need to know, guys, let's have a discussion on this. I need to know what your thoughts on this. Do you agree with her? Do you disagree with her? Her parents don't have any clue what she is doing. Now what really, really annoys me is what message does this send to young girls there watching this, reading about this? Does it say it's acceptable, you know, a girl has, um, a girl who has a virginity can go and sell it to a, uh, the highest bidder because, you know, um, two million pounds is a hell of a lot of money. You could set up your whole life for that buy cars, you know, buy houses, you can do loads of that. Don't get me wrong, the money is amazing, but would you actually do it for that kind of money? But the one thing I just can't get out of my head is what are these young girls going to think of this girl and will they think it's acceptable and will they think it's the right thing? And how many after this, because this has gone global, and yes it will do because it's a shocking headline, I'm going to sell my virginity to the highest bidder. Is she absolutely a mad? Philip and Holly didn't agree with her, I don't agree with her, but that is just three people's opinions. I need to know your opinion. I hope girls don't watch this and think it's acceptable and think, you know, they have a right to do this. She did mention hundreds of girls, like herself, have done this in the past. Some people have gone for three million, some people have gone for one and a half million. Is it how pretty you look? Is it what you look like and how you act? I don't think so This in this case. I just think a girl is selling her virginity for absolutely the craziest reason ever. She wants to go to Oxford, she wants to help her parents. Financial, they don't know in this story. That is what really, really shocks me. Leave your comments in the comment box below because I need to hear you on this one. I know this has been a weird video but it's something that was going around in my head and I needed to talk about it. Two million pounds. I'm going to leave it there guys. Thank you for sticking with me. I absolutely can't believe this story. Remember, if you like this video, uh, if you did like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up because it really helps me a lot. And if you're new around here, smash that subscribe button because I'd love to have you on board. Also, hit me up on everything social. All my social links will be in the description box below. Come and tweet me. We can talk about the weather. We can talk about the story. I don't mind, but just come and say hello. There'll be a brand new video on my YouTube channel very, very soon. So stick with me, stay tuned, and I'll see you very, very soon. YouTube gang, take care.